Hey, Gemini. What's up, beloved? Happy holidays to you all. I hope you guys are having a fabulous holiday season. I'm hoping that all your dreams and wishes come true as we are approaching this Christmas and this New Year season. I think I like New Year's better than Christmas only because it does seem like a new beginning, right? New energy, fresh energy, even though on December 31st, it's only a day. But that day seems like it makes so much difference, right? Either way, let's go ahead, get into this love message. See what's going on with you and your person. Beloved, what's going on with Gemini and their person, please? What's the energy surrounding Gemini and their person? This is how the card looks. A very powerful. Someone with healing energy. So I'm interested in finding out what the card says. Huh. <laughs> healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment you know what this tells me is that you guys have went through some tumultuous times with your beloved right some days it was like you just wanted to just leave this person alone right like i just don't want to deal with this shit no more right but then other days you're just like damn i love them you know i just i just want them to treat me right i just want them to act right i just want them to love me the way i deserve to be loved you know as i get progressively older in my spiritual journey i realize that one of the things one of the foundational thing that's important in a relationship is to feel safe right so i feel like with this healing energy it comes with this energy of feeling safe in your relationship right feeling like it's a healthy relationship where you can be authentically yourself without boundaries right like a person totally accepting you for who you are right and i feel like if you guys are separated at this time this might very well be the reason why because there might be within each of you something that still needs to be healed within right to know that hey it's safe for you to love you don't have to walk in the fear that you had to walk in and past relationships or past things right this is something new something different it's a a new year new beginning a new start all of that type of stuff right either way gemini let's go ahead and get into this message and see what beloved wants you to know beloved what's going on with gemini in their person what's going on with gemini in their person please thank you so much my love thank you could be dealing with a stubborn energy or you could be a gemini taurus cusp because the cars were a little stubborn <laughs> at that time but let's see what's up wow queen of cups at the bottom of the deck so much love to give right in and out right like you have a full cup but also you are able to pour out so much more from within yourself right i feel like this is someone who loves completely right not just with a part of themselves but with their whole self they put their all into this connection into this person Realizing that, you know, I don't want to love nobody else because I really love this person. I really want them to see me clearly for who I am and not who they think I am, right? You want this person to show up with the energy of commitment and building foundations 
because with with you Gemini you have so much love inside I could just feel like overwhelming love right just want this person to entertain it <laughs> in the same way you entertain it right love being authentic being real being honest oh yeah Well, guess what, sweetheart? They feel hurt too. Just like you feel hurt. They don't want to like not be with you, right? To not be a part of your life either. Because I feel like the angels are stepping in to try to help you heal your heart, right? Like, you've been through a lot in this relationship. You may have wanted to give up, like I said at the beginning of the reading. Just feel like giving up is just so hard. Like, I love them, though. But it's just so hard. And they're feeling the same way. You know, if this is a masculine energy you're dealing with, it can be feminine masculine. But usually the masculine energy doesn't display their emotions the way a feminine energy does. Right? They display their emotions very differently and usually behind closed doors. Because I see you guys aren't talking or you're not talking to them. Even though they want to talk to you and they want to be around you and be with you. But you're not saying anything to them at this time. You have trust issues with them, right? You've been trying to figure out What's going on with this connection? What's going on with this person? Why isn't it working? No matter how much energy, time, and effort I put into it, no matter how much I try and show up in this loving nature, why isn't it working? Why isn't this person putting in the effort I need them to put in? Why aren't they being the man or woman I need them to be? I feel like this is someone who's, who got lazy in this connection. And stop like giving you the things that will make you happy or the things that you desire, the things that you ask of them, right? I feel like, I just feel like, well, Gemini, you know, I'm with you. Don't that count? No, it's, it's not okay. And I'm getting this energy. It's not okay that you don't help me with certain things, that you don't do certain things I ask, right? It's not okay that I have to argue with you about the smallest thing. It's not okay because this is really not who I am. I'm really a very loving person and I have so much love to give you. I just want to know that you appreciate me, that you value me, that I'm special, right? You don't show me that I'm special, right? Because hands down, it's true love, right? It's real love. Now, I'm kind of wondering with the energy I'm picking up. Why didn't the two of cups come out? We have the princess of arrows, the five of arrows, the five of staves, triumph. The Princess of Coins, Balance, the Three of Staves, and the Four of Wands. Why was I looking for the Two of Cups to come out? But Because it would show that love was given mutually, right? It wasn't just one person putting in all the work, all the time, all the energy, and all the effort. It would have been both parties, right? So here you find yourself, Gemini, trying to figure out the hell went wrong in this relationship. Like, all I wanted to do was be with them, right? That's all I wanted to do was be with them. But every time, it seems like they would just start an argument or start a fight with me. Is there someone else? Was there someone else in this relationship with us? Is there something I didn't know? Is there something I wasn't seeing? I felt like, Gemini, you had a lot of questions. 
in this connection. Couldn't understand why this person will suddenly switch up, right? Which is normally supposed to be you, right? The twin, right? This person that has this other side, right? But when they held you, you just felt like something's not right here. No, I love them, but I can tell like something's going on. So when they embraced you, when they came around you, when they kicked it with you, you could just feel like the energy wasn't right, right? Something was off. Something wasn't adding up in this connection, right? The more you try to talk to them about it, the more it seemed like it just created this rift. And I see you were constantly trying to figure it out. What's creating this rift between us? Why can't we see eye to eye? Why can't we get along? Why can't we like make this work? I'm trying my best. I'm doing everything I can to try to make this person happy. Like, what else can I do? I've I've tried everything. I've done everything. Like, I, don't, I love this person, right? I just, I'm running out of ideas. God, help me, beloved, help me. What is it? What's going on, right? Problem was, this person wasn't putting forth the effort because they were still looking for something out there, right? This person could have had a wandering eye or something. This person could have been someone who was used to having other connections. Maybe they weren't being honest and authentic. Maybe they were hiding stuff from you, but I see that you never gave up, right? Because you love this person. This is the person who you see yourself spending your life with, right? But if this person, if you and this person can never see eye to eye, right? If, if you guys can never stop arguing, never stop fighting, right? It's like when you pull, they pull away, right? When you push, they push away. It's just how do... How do I make this work? I just want to make it work. I feel like you pulling back your energy this time gave this person an awakening, right? A wake-up call, right? Like, damn, I can't keep treating Gemini this way. I don't want to keep treating Gemini this way. Like... It hurts me that I hurt them. It hurts me that I can't be with Gemini right now. I'm so ashamed of what I've done. Can I make can I make it right with Gemini? Or am I permanently in this place of not being with Gemini? Can Gemini forgive me? Right? So like I said, you weren't the only one hurt at the end of the day. This person was also hurt. Not realizing what they were doing to you was a double-edged sword, right? What else does Gemini need to know about this connection? What else does Gemini need to know about this connection? Dreams. Share your dreams together. Encourage each other to make them a reality. Right? With this dream card, you know, it's it's really coming back to you two getting on the same page. Right? Talking. Expressing. Okay, this is what I'm looking for in a relationship. This is what I need from you. This is what I want. Also, discovering each other love language. Like... If, if, let's say, for example, their, their love language is acts of service, right? They take your car to the mechanic. They 
fill the tires up with air. They take your car for a wash. You know, they take out the trash. They do all that type of stuff. And you're still like, man, you didn't do what I asked you. They're sitting there like, damn, I don't did X, Y, Z, so on and so forth. Now realizing your love language might be quality time, right? I need quality time. I need affection. I need attention, right? You guys are never going to see it eye to eye. I feel like in order for you two to get on the same page, you need to understand each other's love languages, right? That might be the one thing you haven't tried is to understand their love language, right? Or maybe them understand yours. What else does Gemini need to know? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It's a deep a time of deep healing for you both, right? Going into that place and trying to really figure out like how can we see eye to eye on this connection? How can I compromise? What can I ask for them to compromise on? Like really just digging deep, thinking back to what they said. Maybe, you know, sometime in the midst of an argument or in the midst of a fight, you can't you can't hear what people are saying because you're in response mode. But sometimes when people are arguing, they're telling you exactly what the problem is, right? What else does Gemini need to know about this relationship? What else does Gemini need to know about this relationship? Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. See, someone needs to start this relationship off, right? This New Year's off with a clean slate, a clean mind, right? Not thinking about the past and this happened and that happened, and holding on to those things, but really releasing and forgiving and letting go so this relationship can heal. And come to a higher standard of, of high vibrational energy, right? Love is the most high vibrational energy you could get, right? So I just feel like this time is for you guys to really think about this connection and death, right? Thinking about like things that they have said or maybe even things that you notice, Right? Ask them, beloved, to reveal how you can make this work. Right? And praying for them to heal themselves because they don't want to be without you either. Right? Either way, Gemini, that's the message I have for you, beloved. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.